Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty, food review. And a good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. It's around 9.30ish, um, 9.30ish p.m. Not 9.30 on the button, but around 9.30ish p.m. I seem to be given the time a lot at the beginning of the review, but of course we all know how paramount it is to know when I'm filming these. And I went to Hooters. Um, Hooters, of course, is an establishment which serves wings, and also lets patrons look at Hooters, hence the name. But I'm here for the wings, and I'm here to review the wings, and I'm here to thereafter consume the wings. And uh, I was looking at the menu, and I was thinking, well, what is there to review? I mean, they've got, you know, a small variety of flavors. It's not granted a ton, um, but they have a small variety of flavors. They have some salads, they have some burgers, um, they have some probably some sandwiches too. I was thinking, well, what on this menu can I review? I was looking at the different wing flavors, and I saw they had this flavor, which is called, you know, the Daytona wings, the Daytona-style wings. And I wasn't sure if this is just a regional thing, or if this is around the country, but I'm, you know, I'm taking a leap here, and I think, well, no matter what, even if it's regional, there's still going to be a number of people passing through that'll be able to be impacted by these and be able to try them. So the Daytona wings, and let's uh, turn this around for you so I can show you the batch of wings here are right here um, you could probably see them pretty clearly now what it says they are is the wings are first uh, fried all right so first the wings are fried okay then they're covered in like they said a sweet and spicy glaze and then following that they're actually grilled for a brief period of time so you kind of get a little bit of everything okay you get them fried you get them grilled a little bit, and then you also apparently get a little bit of a sweetness and spiciness as well. Um, so we'll see from these wings not only how they taste, but also really <clears throat> how sweet they are, how spicy they are, and um, you know the balance of flavor there. So here's one of the wings, Daytona style, and uh, we'll try it out. So the Daytona style wings from Hooters going in. All right, and I'm going to try another wing here, too. But this is just something that I observed right away. And maybe you observed it, too, if you're a, you know, a keen observer. Maybe you saw this one as well. The skin of the wings was very, very rubbery, um, which is not necessarily a good thing. You know, when you bite into a wing... You want maybe a little bit of a breaded crispiness, a little bit of a crunch, but you don't want to have to just chew and rip that skin off um, because it's just so chewy and rubbery in nature. Um, you know, so that, I'm, I'm just wondering, maybe that's the, the, that one wing, um, or maybe all of them are like that, I don't know. So then I'm going to try a drumstick, and you know, that'll see if that shows that that was just an outlier. Um, or we can get real philosophic and we could say, well, this one, maybe if it's, if it tastes fine and if the skin on that is fine, maybe this is the outlier. Um, but we'll see. So now we're going to try a drumstick here and then we'll, I'll let you know what everything else tastes like too. All right. Synopsis. 
well, we'll do that. We'll put it here. Synopsis. When you bite into these wings, and I've noticed this with both of them, and I think this is going to be more predominant on, as I call the flippers, um, not the drumsticks, you know, just the flippers, is that the skin on these is very chewy. Um, very, very chewy. You're going to bite in, and you're just going to perhaps even struggle to, to, you know, rip off a piece of that skin. Um, it's very chewy. You're probably going to rip off a piece bigger than you intended to, and uh, that can hinder consumption of it in a pleasant way. So the skin on the wings is very chewy, almost to the extent that it's rubbery, and uh, that in itself can be a negative, uh, because whenever I eat my wings, I could be able to just bite right through the skin in a clean bite, and uh, be able to get the most of the flavor in that, that regard. Now, putting that aside, what do they taste like? Now, the sauce on these wings is described, as I said, as both sweet and spicy. Now, all right, it makes no sense in terms of wordplay, what comes first, but a lot of people assume, you know, if, if with these wings, if they say, all right, it's sweet and spicy, they're gonna think, well, it'll be predominantly sweet, and then with a little bit of spiciness. That's just an assumption most people just make, um, but that's not always the case. Now, in this case, when you bite in, you're mostly going to notice actually a spiciness and then a little bit of a sweetness. Um, you bite into these wings and it's, uh, you know, just like a standard, pardon me, like a standard hot sauce type of spiciness here. Um, not real peppery at all, but just a real hot sauce type of spiciness. And it's a noticeable spiciness, believe it or not. It is, it is noticeable. And after that, after you bite in there, you're going to notice then a bit of a honey barbecue uh, type of flavor as well. That is the sweetness in these wings. It's more like a honey barbecue type of sweetness, not just, you know, like someone, say, you know, for instance, uh, you know, just put some sugar on it or whatnot. It's like a honey barbecue type of sweetness there. So you bite in, you're, you get this, you know, real hot sauce type of sweetness, then you get a little bit of a honey barbecue or a hot sauce type of spice, then a bit of a honey barbecue type of sweetness as well to complement that. And the two mix together very nicely, but the hot, the hotness of it actually, and the spiciness, uh, does prevail. And you're going to notice, well, it's more spicy than it is sweet. Okay. Now the meat itself is a bit salty. You're going to notice, um, but that's more of a, a milder flavor there. Um, really, you're just going to notice a lot of that sweetness from like a honey barbecue type of taste, and you're also going to notice a bit of a, a spiciness to accompany that. Um, but the meat itself, all that you can get. <laughs> um, is actually very nice. It's not that chewy, which is good. Um, it is very soft and tender, which is great, and uh, very flavorful in that regard, but just be wary of the skin, um, as it is very chewy. Now, price-wise for these, they're $11.50 for this, because they're special wings. Um, keep that in mind. And also, in terms of the grilling, you can't taste any of the char-grilled flavor. Um, you can't taste any of that, so keep that in mind as well. But these are around $11.50 for around 10 of them. A bit expensive. Um, and I think, you know, the, the rubberiness of the skin is a real major uh, detraction there, just in terms of eating it. Um, if it wasn't as rubbery, they'd be great, um, because I think that the taste itself is very pleasant. Um, but I think the texture of them, just how rubbery it is, are struggling to bite into that, can be a real pain and a real issue in that regard. So, given the price, given the overall experience, and given what they are and what they taste like, hmm... I'm going to have to give these wings out of 10. I'm, I'm going to have to give these a 7.6 out of 10 because the flavor itself is pleasant and it's good, um, but they are a bit expensive. And also factoring in on just how rubbery that skin is. I keep emphasizing that because, you know, that's the first thing you bite into and that's the first thing you taste with the wings. Um, that can be a problem as well. But otherwise, I think they're pretty good. And if you want to try something new, if you want to give it a go, um, give it a shot. But just, you know, again, expect to have a little difficulty biting in. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you today. Today's review is for Hooters, the Daytona Wings. Thank you for watching and take care.